In a career spanning almost 40 years, Aviva Pelham's dynamism and versatility have made her one of South Africa's most popular singers. Born into a musical family, Aviva has enchanted her audiences, brightened stages and spread the love of song both in South Africa and abroad. Aviva continues to communicate and cross boundaries, sharing her own particular brand of dynamic entertainment. I was born in Salisbury, Rhodesia, the third of three daughters, to two people who didn't know each other before they got married. And I often thought to myself, what was it about these two people that helped them make it work? The one is that they were both Jewish and the Jews had just been through the most terrible times. And the second is that they were both musical. And I think with those two major uh, important factors coming into the lives of their children, it, it gave us the most wonderfully warm home uh, with a lot of love. And I feel very privileged that I was brought up in that atmosphere. From a Jewish point of view, there's no doubt that the, the Yiddish kite played a huge part in our home life. Well, I mean, if you think about music, uh, music in the Bible goes back thousands and thousands of years, and it's there always to mark every single occasion. Every milestone in everybody's life, uh, wars and celebrations, and uh, the Jewish people also do that. Um, we also had enormous celebration in our home through the music, and it was often because of the traditional part of the Jewish religion. Um, I feel it was enormously important in our upbringing. Growing up in a musical home was, it was a bit of a privilege actually. I have to say, um, my mum would wake me up in the morning opening the curtains and singing a good morning song <laughs> that would kick us off and there was a lullaby before bed. In situations of great joy, we find a way everyone will come together and sing um, at Shabbos meals. And yeah, it's just something I find when I find other families who don't do it, I think it's a bit strange and I feel quite sorry for them. <laughs> Because there was so much music in the home, I don't think I was thought of as in the least bit special, certainly not by myself. And when I came to university in Cape Town and study um, opera, which was for me the culmination of everything that I loved. And I couldn't believe my luck that I had the opportunity and that they accepted me. And I worked extremely hard trying to better my own technique and voice so that I would be good enough to serve the music of geniuses. And that's how I still feel. So now I'm at a stage that I'm thinking, and what can I do to pass this on to people who didn't have my opportunities? My parents didn't have my opportunities and nor did so many millions of people in the world. But I live in South Africa, I have strong South African roots, and I feel one of my um, well, responsibilities, but I want to, I so, so badly want to do this, is to try and give back as much as I can. And I think we are such a rich nation when each one of us can shine their light and then together, nothing is stronger. I met Aviva in 2011 when I was doing my first year at the University of Cape Town. And she got to be uh, my lecturer who was giving me English diction and a little bit of singer's theater. She walked in and we knew a diva was in the room. Posture, upright, proper English, you know, everything about her was just like, I want to be like that woman one day. My role is more in terms of mentorship. When somebody comes to me, I listen carefully and I think, what is it that this person needs? And um, I really try to facilitate some way to take them to the next level. And I find I'm, I'm I love being involved in improving other people's lives. When you're a singer, you always think about the voice, the singing, is, does it sound right? But you never actually care whether people get the message because music is all about the message. So it was quite an important thing that I learned from her that the words are the most important, so they must be transported to the people. And then in the singer's theater, we did um, a little bit of acting as well how to carry yourself on stage, how to move, 
you know how to open up to your audience and things like that and those are the most important things that an opera singer needs you know to be able to be on stage and deliver well i work a lot in outreach and i found that i was coming across wonderful talent and I would shape something, perhaps a choir, and I've really worked with many. And I'll, I'll work with people and then think to myself, but this is worth hearing, you know. And so I started quite a long time ago using my own platforms to showcase young talent. If it was just a group of singers, I would call it Viva the Voices. I like that title because I'm Viva, Italian for Viva, long live, and of course South Africa Viva. So it just feels right, Viva, Viva the Voices. Um, and then I found I was doing lots of other projects as well. I got lots of children from different places in the Western Cape on different instruments and I showcased them at the Baxter twice on Youth Day to teach the instruments of the orchestra to children played by children. And before long, I found myself doing this a lot. She is professional. You keep time, you come, you know your work. Because when you go on stage, you expose yourself naked to the world. And the world must then come back and look at you and judge you. So I would really, really like to follow her steps in that sense of being a professional at my work and being a humble and a caring person, always willing to help people and be there and be very supportive. I always use the same maxims to live my life by. I'm a lady and, and I'm a professional and I have integrity and respect and discipline and I respect my fellow people in this world and, and I try my very best to do whatever I can to shine their light. I think that Derek Eretz means how we are in the rest of the world interacting with other people so that each of us can live our lives to the full but never disturbing or doing anything negative to anybody else. On the contrary, helping in any way to uplift and inspire their lives.